Welcome back to you live. We're here with Lily Richards from Unity Books. How are you doing, Lily? Well, thank you. You witnessed some of that Pictionary goodness right there, and you described it as, uh, as something you do on Television for the third world. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but how fun is that? Like, I feel like we need to really peer back live television to the basic like roots of fun. That's fun. I agree. Let's do it. Um, you've brought in a book that uh, you've told me a bit about, and I'm very interested for you to share it. The it's the world. kind of fun, actually, that, um, that, that kind of pure fun that you have when you're a kid. Mm -hmm. You know, when you don't second guess yourself, or yeah. you can play, yeah. It's really good. Hangman, and it's great for like hours. <laughs> <Don't give laughs> Two hours ideas. of programming. Yeah, it costs I know. TVNZ, nothing. Cool. Um, so, this is s similar, sort of. It's not a game, it's a book, but it is. Um, it's sort of like a teen fiction book, actually. Do you want to do like a little Mario Camera? Absolutely. It's a beautiful cover. And it's called Why We Broke Up, and it is literally a book about why this couple broke up. It's written by a guy called Daniel Handler, uh, and do you know you know the series of Unfortunate Unvent Absolutely. Events? Absolutely. I really, it's a, that was a great series of books as a kid, especially if you were a kid into like more depressing stuff. Like, Maudlin, yeah. Yeah, yeah, negativity and yeah. horrible. Yeah, it was, it was dark and clever and funny. And, and those are beautiful books as well. I love yeah, those books. Well produced. Yeah, well produced. So he did that under a pseudonym of Lemony Snicket and he is, his real name is Daniel Handler and so he's written this book for teenagers but you'll know him from the series of unfortunate events. And he's collaborated with Myra Kalman, whom we also love, who's an Israeli artist and I've reviewed her before on this, have I? You, uh, I think we reviewed her I? blog that she did? Yeah, so yeah, the, yeah. there was a book of her blog that she did for the New York Times, which was Principles of Uncertainty, I think that was the one that I did. Mm -hmm. um, and so she does these lovely painted, colourful, pastel illustrations. And this book is the story of Min and Ed. And Min is a, um, she's really interested in film and kind of classic movies and black and whites. So that's why I thought of you it might like this. Uh, and it reads kind of in a way, because she's always referencing these, these black and white movies as like a great list of, of classic movies that you should go and see because I'm not very good with films so this helped me. Um, but every, what it is is she, they go out, they break up obviously, yeah. tell it from the title. Um, and the whole thing is her going to his house and giving back a box of his stuff mm -hmm. that's kind of, with their stuff, the miscellany that came from their relationships, so bottle, yeah. co bottle tops and all sorts. And Myra Kalman illustrates each of these things at the beginning of the chapter that's in the box and um Mary bottle of that's liqueur that's yeah her art is very particular it's inc i find it incredibly beautiful, beautiful. ugly coat nice. <laughs> she just has a real way with color yeah uh, and then there's a little sort of story that chapter is about that coat and the story of how it comes into play in their mm -hmm. relationship it really suits some um, the it being teen fiction as well, that kind of like scribbly drawing, doodling kind of. Because you're so it. intense as well. Your first love, mm -hmm. you're so convinced yeah. that this is real, you know. And it's not. And everyone always sort of like looks at you nicely, and it's kind yeah, of yeah, like yeah, that's not real. real. And it's not until you're older that you're like that wasn't real. But in a sense, it, you know, it was because that's was all your time, context. Yeah. yeah. Is. So there's that intensity in this book, and there's that kind of passion. And even if you're not a teenager, because clearly I'm not, um, you, you can go back to that place. You feel what it feels like mm. to have that kind of singular passion for something. Well, that's something that the thing is, especially with teen fiction, is that um, even though it's teen fiction and it's sort of marketed or targeted at teens, doesn't mean that the quality of writing is all more simplistic. Like, no, I mean, Daniel doesn't Handler, have to. it doesn't have to. I mean, a lot of the time it probably does mean it is maybe a bit more simplistic. But mm. um, it seems like a book that people shouldn't shy away from if they're 18 and all grown up. If you're old. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, it's really funny. Yeah. If you're going to throw a music video at me, do you want to do that now? Because then we'll have time for talking about something really exciting about yeah. the bit where yeah. you get involved in this whole breakup story. Bradley says everything's real in the right moment. Why don't we introduce it now and give them a chance uh, over the music video yes. to pop us some comments. So. Okay, cool. So, one part of this is that there's this um, Tumblr project called Why We Broke Up, but it's asking you to send in your stories of why you broke up. So mm -hmm. giving your breakup story because everyone's had one. Uh, Presumably, and the, we'll show you the website. But what we thought we would do, we we we, is give a copy of this away and play that same game. So we're going to get you to write in. Where do you write it in? Um, on the app, facebook.com/tvnzu. We should hashtag it, uh, and we'll hashtag it with we, why, why, why we, we broke, broke up. up, which is obviously the name of the book. Um, should I read out just a couple of the ones on the Tumblr blog, just to give examples? This one I like. We broke up because I moved to a different country for you, but you couldn't move a meeting to pick me up at the airport. That's a famous people one, eh? Yeah. The celebrities break up. We'll share more of those afterwards because yeah. I've got a couple of my faves here as well. Nice. 
But yeah, one liner. The best yep. one liner wins the book. Why we broke up, one line. And it looks like a very good book, so you'd be a fool not to pop on that hashtag onto a comment. Show right. play video. Yep, get into those and uh, we'll be talking about those very soon. But here's some Ed Sheeran. Speaking of intense love, this yeah. is Lego House. Yeah. It's Sharon there with Lego House. We're here with Lily Richards from Unity Books. We're talking how we broke up, and not how we broke up, because we were never a thing, Lily, and I'm sorry. Why we broke up, not even how. Oh, God! Damn why it! We why we would have broken up was because you didn't believe that our relationship was real or That's important. True. Why we broke up. It's because I didn't remember the title of the book, isn't it? That's yeah. why we broke up. Or that we were in a relationship. Um, why We Broke Up by uh, Daniel Handler, the uh, otherwise known as Lemony Snicket, if you're a fan of those books. Uh, all about the young love. Of uh, the two main characters, Min and what was that? Min and Min and Ed. Name? You can't say the book when you got. Sorry, computer. Min. What a Min. weird name. Minerva. Shot for Minerva. Oh, she... She's Minerva. a Jew. She's an academic intellectual Jew. Oh, nice. Um, okay, so, so we're asking you on the Facebook app uh, to hit us up with your hashtags or comments, uh, all about how, why you broke up. Why? Well, no, but it's also how. No, why we broke up. Sorry. Hashtag why we broke up. Rianne's kicking it off. He told me I changed. I have now. That's yeah, so I've changed boyfriend. Um, exactly. Uh, had us with some more Matt Gibb. Jordan, I think this is one that Jordan was told by the sounds of things. I woke up and suddenly realised I didn't want a boyfriend. Hmm, interesting. That would be woke a really... Up. Be like, that's it. That's probably why. Were they maybe... in bed next year? Because that would have been awkward. Oh, that would be tense. Oh, I don't want you there. That would be really tense. Um, uh, what, what is, is that? Uh, Ataria. Ataria. My fault, Ataria. Is My fault as always. Lol. Glad you can lol about it. Yeah. yeah. You've got to lol about these things. So <laughs> You've got to lol about these things. I'm moving through. Um, Carl says, why we broke up? Because she said how instead... Oh, she said how instead of we. What do you mean? What do you mean? Don't put ones that we can't understand. How instead of why? I think you mean how instead of why. I think oh. it was your one from earlier there. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Call that. Alexander says, why we broke up? Uh, it was the end of summer. <laughs> I quite like that one. Yeah. Simple. Yeah, well, it's very to the, to the point. Yeah, absolutely. Whereas this one, there's a little bit more to it. Oh, Bradley, she got pregnant with someone else's kid. Then we were down. That's like Jeremy Kyle broke up. Break up. I miss those. I, I miss Sally, Jessie Raphael. Me too. Whatever happened to her? I'm scared that she's going to die soon. Um, she probably will. She the probably way will. of life. Can, um, I just, yeah, can I just say something quickly about the website, which you should also go and check out? Yes. Um, if not for inspiration, just for some good times. Yes. Uh, there's a section on there where if you submit your Why We Broke Up, then the author, Daniel Hadler, might come on and choose yours to comment on. So nice. it, there's, yeah, there's a few on there that he's commented on. What's that website? Uh, I gave it to you. Why we broke up project dot tumblr dot com. <laughs> Sassy. So why <laughs> we broke up? Why we broke up project dot tumblr dot com. Matt will pop it up on a key so you can write it down with a pen. Well, this is one of my favourites and the commentary. Mm -hmm. So this is one of why we broke up that was on the website. We broke up because I refused to call him daddy. He said all his previous girlfriends had called him that, and it was considered a norm. Unfortunately, I don't think calling a man daddy is normal. To which the author replied, I live with someone who calls me daddy. I wouldn't go so far as to say he was normal, but his second grade teacher finds him meeting expectations. It's cute. Um, I don't even call, I didn't even call my dad daddy even when I was a kid. I think being asked, asking your girlfriend to call you daddy it's is immediate, immediate grounds yeah. For, yeah. for breaking up. That's so creepy. Gross. It is. So um, if you guys are able to sum up and send it, and then you guys are going to choose the best? I reckon. Uh, we'll get you a say on it as well. Uh, if we, we'll, we'll choose at the end of the show, I reckon. All right. Keep those coming best in. Best one-liner. Best one-liner. There's been a few good ones so far. The Because it was summer, the end of summer was quite good. Yeah. Simple to the point. But if you'd like to uh, win the book, then get on the app, facebook.com slash tvnzu. Hayden says, why we broke up? Baby, she's a gold digger. Lols. Yeah. Maybe try it. Maybe, yeah, that's no, good use of caps lock. Good use of caps lock. Yelling. Yeah, just yelling. Just yell and roll. Um, but it is a very interesting uh, Tumblr blog, why we broke up project.tumblr.com. You should definitely head there. And uh, if you're not lucky enough to win this book, I'd highly recommend it, uh, even if you're not a teen. But especially if you're a teen as well. Yeah. You know? And that website's great. It's a good community for the brokenhearted. It's a good community for the brokenhearted, apart from Craigslist um, or something like that. Anyway. Lily Richards, thank you so much for coming in. Pleasure. Uh, we'll pop in and say hello at Unity Books to you. I'm, I need to buy a card, and you guys have got some pretty the good cards. The best cards, because I buy them. Yeah, do you? Oh.
You're a card buyer. I'm a card buyer. Nice. Um, I'm a business card. Do you have a business card? I do. What does it say? Card buyer. Oh, do you want to go say. backwards again? Book mon bookmonger as well? Bookmonger. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Not um, later, but Matt Gibb. Yes. What Subtract. Okay. Subtract. Pharaohs. Mm -hmm. Good. Bye, Lily. Bye. Bye.